Hey everybody, it's Keith Walls here with Abernathy Performing Arts in Portland, Oregon, or just outside Portland. And today we're going to talk about the debate of Grand Plié. I see this come up a lot, especially amongst teachers uh, in ballet, debating the, the use and function and the proper technique, or, or if you should even do Grand Plié. And I thought I'd just give my thoughts on what I think about Grand Prié and why. So I'm gonna ask Bernadette to come over and join me here. I believe Grand Prié is absolutely safe to do. And I think that because I associate with everyday kind of life movement. Our knees are meant to have a uh, full range of motion. So you're meant to be able to go down like this and come back up in whatever position you need. I think about it as kids playing on a playground and when they jump down from the playground equipment, you'll see them land all the way down in those deep plies, or those big squats and things like that, to um, elderly people who are gardening, like, uh, you know, multiple times a week. I mean, my mom gardens all the time, and she uses her knees a lot, and so it's just really important to have those, uh, you know, knees being able to function through the full range of motion. So we're gonna talk about Grand Plié. I think what the debate is, like, we hear especially in sports medicine over the last maybe 15, 20 years that your knee should not go beyond your toe. Well, I don't think that's really true. I mean, you more than are able to function in that in a properly uh, placed and safe position, you might not want to do that chronically. I think the problem is that we have uh, a lot of sports and things like that that do it on a daily basis in like a chronic uh, you know, condition. I think of the idea of a catcher in baseball doing that for probably hours like this, and that definitely will play a major part in some therapeutic, you know, physical therapy things. But in ballet, we don't do front leads that much. And I think of it as insurance for the dancer. So without doing the grand plié in class to develop the strength and the alignment, I feel like the dancer does not have the range of motion and the strength properly needed in those moments that might not actually work out that well. So thinking that they do a big grand jeté and they land slightly off balance or a little off kilter, and they need that strength and that developed placement that is there and have been practiced to pull them back into good alignment. So we're going to go ahead and start in first position. Some basic things that you want to always think about is just really focusing on keeping that knee alignment right over the toe. And you have to build it from the foot up as well as from the hips down. So we're going to, to demonstrate. You're going to really rotate and as that takes plie, you're just going to make sure that that knee lines up directly over pretty much the center of her toes, like somewhere right around the second toe, maybe even the third toe, is where you want that knee placement over there. She's pulling up through here, she's opening through the hip here, and she's gonna come up for those. Now that's perfect alignment, she's going right down to that placement. Now in grand plié, just keep the same thing. You'll open up, right, and you'll just pull yourself out of it. Make sure that your weight is really lifted out of your leg. Your heels are super important, right? So as you go down, you go through demi plié, you release slightly into grand plié, and then you press those heels down to come back up. You don't want to lift your heels. A lot of the times we see dancers trying to lift their heels up off the ground into like a four-star position. That's going to put some compromise pressure in the wrong areas, right? The other positions that get uh, heavily debated, I think, are fourth position, right? Fourth position and maybe sometimes our fifth position. So I'm going to go to ahead and take fourth. I think the key thing to look for is the placement of the inside leg, so that inside leg towards the bar, um, and obviously keep uh, attention on where that placement is for the outside leg. But we see a lot of young dancers start to roll forward, so Bernadette's going to demonstrate carefully um, uh, incorrect rolling forward. She takes the leg, and we see this knee rolling forward here, okay, and she's going to come up. So that is not safe, right? If you see your dancers doing that, then they're not ready for grand plié in fourth position. You need to keep on focusing on the demi plié and really good placement. So what do you do? You have them really pull up. You keep them to go to demi plié. You just keep their knee. You push their knee back over the alignment of their toes. 
right? A lot of the times I'll take a stick or something and I'll, I'll place it right into the line right here so they can double check that placement make sure that it's, it's really solid. Keeping the core nice and pulled up, keeping the back nice and dropped, right? So they're not hyperextending or touching yet. So once you see that they're able to do the demi plie and really get good alignment, go ahead and let them go down. Just focus that knee open, keeping this one here, and then she'll press her heels down, come up, and stretch. Again, a couple of the things you want to look for is that the heels are leaving the ground at the same time and they're returning to the ground at the same time. If one heel is getting to the ground sooner than the other, then they're probably shifted off balance a little bit and you need to get their balance more in the center. Or you can have to work on the flexibility of their calf muscles. Because calf muscles tighten up differently from side to side. You have a dominant side and a passive side. So that dominant side can often be a little bit tighter and you have to do a little bit more work to release the calf muscle, both the, the soleus and the gastrocnemius in there. I think FIP has the same idea. So you just look for the really good alignment. Again, if we're talking, how often do we do bronze plies, right? Probably just during your plie combinations during bar, and maybe a few other times during class. So you're only probably doing, on average, eight, 10, 12 grand pliés maximum, uh, probably even less than that for my classes, per class that you take, totally safe to do. Using the full range of motion of your joints is absolutely you know, beneficial for not only your, your long time dance health, but just your overall body health. So I hope this helps out and something to think about. If you have something to say, let us know. We love to hear the debate and keep the conversation going. So thanks for joining us.